First, I want to just back up a little bit. How many of you know that our God is a triune God? What I mean by that, he's made up of the, of the uh, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And just as God is a triune God, he created us, mankind, in his likeness to be triune beings. And so we're made up, we're triune beings as he's a triune God. We're made up of body, soul, and spirit. And I just want to say to you, when Jesus Christ came to earth, he came bringing with him complete salvation or complete healing for the whole man. He didn't just come to take away our sins and leave us with the results of them. But he came and he brought with him triune salvation. And I want to tell you something that's really, really good news. And, you know, much of the body of Christ doesn't even realize that. And so we're stuck in our sickness. We're stuck in our brokenness. We're stuck in our sin. We're stuck in our addiction because we don't know the full gospel. But tonight I'm going to talk to you about the fullness of the cross of Jesus Christ, the atoning work of Jesus at the cross tonight. Triune salvation. Is that okay? <laughs> All right. I'm getting fired up. <laughs> Isaiah 53 and verse 4, speaking of Jesus. Again, I Isaiah is prophesying about Jesus. And it says, surely. Now I want to stop right there. That word surely means Definitely, absolutely, positively, surely he took up our infirmities. Now, infirmities are our sickness. Did you know that? And it says, and he carried our sorrows. Now, that word sorrows in the Hebrew actually means our diseases and our pains, both physical and emotional pains. And so we see the very first thing that Jesus Christ paid at the cross was healing for our physical body. Every sickness, every disease known to mankind, God the Father placed upon Jesus, and Jesus bore those in his body. And he paid for those so you would not have to. Did you know that? It's true. It's right here in the Word. You know, there's a story of John Lake who started the healing rooms back in the 1920s who was an apostle to South Africa and planted over 500 churches, which that work is still going today back in the 1920s. Saw amazing signs and wonders and miracles. But he was in England and he was visiting a 13th century museum and he saw a painting of the crucifixion of Jesus. And he said, this picture was different than any other picture he's ever seen. You know, we've seen pictures of the crucifixion, Jesus on the cross, with a little bit of blood coming down his, his head because of the crown of thorns, blood coming out of his hands and his feet because he was nailed to the cross. But John Lake said, this one, this 13th century, century painting, it showed Jesus with leprosy, showed him with tumors and lesions and boils all over his body. And he said, that's the most accurate painting, the most accurate picture of the crucifixion that he's ever seen that aligns with the, with the Word of God. Surely, absolutely, definitely, positively, he took up your sickness. He carried your diseases. People, if he paid for them, you don't have to have them. Let me tell you something. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Give them to him. He already bought those. He always already purchased those.